we are looking at chapter number 8 winds storms and cyclones question answer on winds storms and cyclones we are taking first it fill the missing word in the blank spaces in the following statement wind is dash air wind is moving air or blowing air winds are generated due to dash heating uh, on the earth so uneven heating on the earth near the earth surface dash air rises up whereas dash air comes down so warm air always rises up and cooler air always comes down air moves from a region of high pressure to low pressure because it is always a tendency in the entire world or you can say entire uh, galaxy that everything needs to be or wants to be in in equilibrium so when the high pressure will be at some point it will try to become low or rather adjust to low so that this releases its pressure that is how the high pressure will always uh, the the air in the high pressure will always go to low pressure areas suggest two methods to find out wind direction at a given place so there are so many ways first is you can take some sand in your hand just uh, uh, try uh, just open your hand so that uh, it can slip it slip and you can just see how where this dust particle because they are very light so the wind will take them in certain direction so that is the direction of the wind you can always fly a kite so the direction of kite the way the direction in which the kite is flying is the wind direction then you can take a bit of paper on your palm then the piece will fly in certain direction because they are also very light so the wind is able to blow them this is the direction of the this this is the actual direction of your wind you can also use a, a wind vane and an emometer next is state two experiences that made you think that air exerts pressure other than those given in the text okay the two 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 experiences see you you have seen the trees whenever there uh, there is a wind blowing or moving you will see that the tree leaves and branches they flutter due to the pressure which is exerted by the air in the form of wind and also when uh, you are riding the bicycle or any vehicle against the direction of the wind you will feel some problem you want to buy a house would you like to buy a house having windows but no ventilators explain your answer see whenever we make some food or specifically talking about kitchen or bathroom there are heat, heated water and uh, there are few fumes which go and they are all, always uh, hotter so hot hot air will blow up it will go up now the windows can help only when the wind is blowing but when the water the air is hot it will go up so it, there we need to have a ventilator otherwise the whole room or whole house will be suffocated so smoke from the kitchen and uh, are and warm air because it is being warm it uh, rises up so if there is no outlet like the ventilators it will be difficult to escape from the warm air and will heat up the room and this can cause suffocation and discomfort next is explain why holes are made in hanging banners and hoardings so if you have big banners and hoarding the wind may come from each direction and when the wind is coming from this direction this this may happen that it doesn't find any any place to uh, to go and uh, it exerts pressure and this banner and hoarding will uh, you can say it can break off it can come down so if you put uh, small small say holes even if the wind is blowing they will always get some place to go out they find a place to move on so air exert pressure in all direction if banners and hoardings do not have hose pressure exerted by wind they may tear them off and make them fall so hole let the air pass through and reduces the air pressure on banners and hoardings 
Next is how will you help your neighbors in case cyclone approaches your village and town? So you need to be always prepared because um, if you are aware, because now the weather department, med department, they they are they have those gadgets, they have these instruments that they can precisely tell the time also. So now if the cyclone is approaching, what you have to do is you need to help your neighbors friends because the items they they have their important household items their livestock or cattle or the vehicle we need to move them to the safer places we can always have a communication with the government agencies like police fire brigade medical centers where there are where we where are the emergency service points as per the requirement then in 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 uh, these kind of situation the water becomes very important because the water will not be available and without water, we'll, we cannot survive for, um, you know, only for survive for a few days. For that, we need water. So, we need to have safe drinking water. Then, we should avoid driving roads nearby flooded hit areas because, you know, the problem can come anytime. What planning is required in advance to deal with the situation created by a cyclone? So, if there is a cyclone, the self-help is the best help. So, uh, it's uh, therefore, it's always better to plan in advance rather than havocing or panicking at at that point it is always better to plan in advance and ready with defense against any any situation which arises because of the cyclone so the planning uh, which is required in advance to deal with cyclone hit situation is like this you can uh, have a emergency kit keep a emergency kit at home you can store uh, food in waterproof bags you can store safe drinking water because this is very important. Uh, water is the most important thing and if you happen to drink the contaminated water that will cause diseases and that will increase the pain in the cyclone. Uh, just uh, try to keep the numbers your, your, um, at uh, your disposal and the phone and mobile batteries charge. Also because it, it may go long, it may prolong. You may face certain situation, you are logged or you, you are um, into this situation for two or three days or more than that. So you need to make necessary arrangement for to ship the essential household goods, domestic animals, cattle and vehicles to safer places. Next is, which one of the following places is unlikely to be affected by cyclone? Amritsar. The answer is very straightforward. This lies in between uh, the the Indian region and uh, Chennai, the, uh, this Mangaluru, Puri, they all have oceans, there are always things, high pressure, low pressure areas, the cyclone can come. But here the chances are very less. Which of the statement given below is correct? So please read them one by one. In winter, the wind flows from land to the ocean, and this is correct. This is the Correct one. In wind, the wind the, in the winter wind actually flows from land to the ocean. So this is this is the questions on cyclone and storms, etc. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.